Hey, what's up guys? It's Correcty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Kansas City Southern KCS Gray Ghost color scheme, AC4400CW. And this is based on the road number 4619, although right now in the present day, it has since been repainted into the KCS Bell livery, which I think the Gray Ghost is a lot cooler in a color scheme. Um, I'm not sure if any uh, AC4400CWs are still painting gray ghosts. If there are, let me know down in the comments. But this locomotive has been sitting in my yard for many years unfinished, and I finally finished it up today uh, during a live stream, and then also after doing this in the tutorial as well. Um, so yeah, here is what looks like it's a brand new 2022 design. We did not release a tutorial on this ever. Uh, it's just been laying in the yard, so lots of improvements have uh, been done. Uh, quite today, uh, like the vent detail and the KCS logo before the AC4400, they have a really small radiator section compared to the GVO. So um, I moved that towards the back. I stretched out like the KCS logo so that they're spread apart before I had them squished together. And then here's what it looks like. I rolled around, got ditch lights in the back as well. And here's what it looks like on the other side. I'm gonna turn on my night vision so you guys can see all the details. Uh, very cool indeed. And then in the front we got the yellow chevron stripes. That is part of the Great Ghost livery. And it got the KCS logo right there. That's on the side. And I know there's someone out there who really wanted this because every time I did a live stream before, uh, they would always mention it. So I hope that person does find this video. And if you guys are actually building this tutorial, let me know down in the comment section down below. So you guys can let me know if you guys are interested in builds like this. And make sure you hit that like button if you had already. But yeah, let's get started by grabbing some materials. We're gonna take out um, dark oak slab, fence gate, polished blackstone brick wall, stairs, slab, a black concrete, acacia fence gate, oak slab, and a chain. All right, so first off, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate and a dark oak slab on top. Behind it, a polished black brick stairs, another stairs facing towards it, and upside down on the side. The middle is gonna be acacia fence gate, open that up towards the outside, chain to the side of this, and two blocks wide of polished blackstone brick wall. Then we'll add in on top an oak slab, a polished blackstone brick slab behind it, and another oak slab at diagonal. Then another um, polished block stone brick stairs upside down here, dark oak fence gate, and then um, two blocks wide of black concrete, then two oak slabs so that they're spaced apart, just like that. Dark oak fence gate here on the side, open that up like that, and above we'll add in an oak fence gate. Open that up, and then a dark oak fence gate on the inside of this, and open it up towards the outside part. And then next we'll add in a polished black stone brick wall here. Another brick fence on top. Chain on the inside of this. An oak fence to the side of that. And then we'll need an item frame with a white, I mean a smooth coarse block inside of it for the ditch lights. And then another dark oak fence gate down here, open that up. Then the inside of this. Then we're gonna add in black concrete, eight blocks long, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll add in two in the back. Skip block another two, skip block another two. Polish blackstone brick walls in the gaps. Another one here in the back. And then polish blackstone brick slab here in the middle. All right, so next we'll add in the wheel. So that's gonna be this gray terracotta. Upside down dark oak stairs, hopper, like that. Hopper to the side of this. And then a dark oak fence gate right here. And then the inside will add in a polished blackstone brick block here. And a polished blackstone brick stairs upside down. Just like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here. Open that up. Then we're going to uh, make um, two more of these wheels. The same exact design. So make this two more times. Just like that. And then the back, we're gonna close up this fence gate like that. Add another dark oak fence gate to the side of this, open that up. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs in these gaps. And then the 
corner here, uh, we'll add in polished blocks and brick stairs, base in the back, a slab, skip a block, two slabs, skip block, two slabs, and then we'll add in daylight detectors in here, going to turn them blue, and then we'll add in the fuel tank, so it's going to be a 2x2 two two black concrete, upside down, polished blocks and brick stairs, and I'm going to make this stairs so it's going to be 11 blocks long. Then in the back, a 2x2 two two of black concrete. And then a row of black concrete on the inside part. Just like that. Now here in the back, we'll add another uh, polished black stone brick slab. Upper slab like that. And then we are going to pretty much uh, copy everything that we did in the front all the way up until right before the fuel tank and then build it on the other side the other way. All right, so once you've built the other side, it should be looking like this. Now in the back, we're gonna change this plow into a flat surface. So change these bottom two stairs into polished black and brick walls. Just like that, add a dark oak fence, I mean trap door there in the middle. Then we'll add in a light gray concrete, four blocks tall. Then stone stairs. And then light gray concrete, we'll make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the front and the back of this, we'll add in the stone stairs. Then a row of polished deep slate stairs. Then to the side, we'll add in um, stone slabs. And at the bottom, we'll add in stone slabs in the corners and then polished black stone brick stairs there in the middle. Then we'll add in a light gray concrete in the front and the back of this. Then we'll add in a stone slab, just to make a U shape like this. The inside we'll add in this polish um, and a site block like that. And then we'll add in another U shape of stone slabs, kind of like a C shape. And then inside, we'll add in this spruce fence gate, light gray uh, concrete on the inside of that. And then we'll add in a 2x2 two two of stone slab at the top of this, at the front, I mean. All right, then in the middle here, it's going to be um, two blocks long, polished deep slate um, blocks. And then a stone stairs and slab right over here, so then make that look. Then we'll add in two by two light gray uh, concrete like that. And we'll actually make this outside light gray concrete go all the way down to the bottom like so. Then we'll go over here right before the radiator. We'll add in light gray concrete going all the way down. And then we'll make a row at the bottom going all the way across. And then right here in the front, a two by three, light gray concrete. And then a row at the top. Then we're gonna add in a two by two of light gray concrete in the front and the back of this hole. And then two blocks tall, red concrete on the sides. And then light gray concrete in here in the middle, uh, just like that. All right, then we're gonna go in the front. We'll add in yellow concrete. One right there in the middle, light gray concrete, two on a diagonal. And then oak stairs, we're gonna add two on a diagonal. And then light gray concrete right there, and then also on the inside of the stairs. And then an oak slab the tip, stone, um, light gray carpet on top of this, and then item frame with white bed inside underneath a mangrove sign then to the side of that we'll add in a stone stairs like that and then a red concrete to the side of this and then two blocks wide birch buttons then a stone stairs here and then a two by two of light gray concrete and then a three by two of light gray concrete side. And then we'll add in the top corner an oak uh, slab like that. The middle here, we'll make an L shape of light gray concrete. And this top part, we're gonna make it a two by four, four blocks long like that. 
Then over here at the back, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick uh, block, two blocks long here in the middle. And then we're going to add in two blocks wide, black glass here, light gray glass pane in the middle, black glass pane next to it, dark oak sign at the top, and then three blocks wide of stone stairs. On the inside of this, we'll add in two snow layers tall, like so, an iron bar here to the side, and mangrove button, two blocks wide right there. Then we're going to add in a substitute block for iron trap door. Now it's up to you whether you want to use spruce or you want to use um, birch trap doors, up to you. I don't know, we'll just go with spruce for now and then the inside of this will add in two blocks wide of black concrete like so. Alright, next we're going to add in polished blackstone brick blocks, two blocks wide over here. And then we'll go um, to the back wide and polish black stone brick slabs. Gonna line up in the middle where this fence gate is, right above, like that. Go to the front, and this time it's gonna be right above where we have that hopper there in the middle. And the rest of this is gonna be oak slabs going all the way across to the back. All one big layer. And later we'll add in more detail to this. Just like that, in this bottom row here, we'll add in light gray concrete going all the way across. Just like that. And the back part, we'll add in three blocks tall, polished blackstone brick block. Going all the way across this hole here. Three blocks tall, like this. Okay, cool. And then we'll add in uh, this stone stairs. Gonna be one at the top and the bottom, like this. I'll skip a block there. And we'll add in that spruce trap door. And we'll close it up like that. Then we're going to add in this mangrove button here at the side. Item frame in the middle at the top. With white bed on the inside of that. And then we'll add in a row of light gray concrete below this, going all the way across, like so. Now we need to add in this door banner. So to make that, go inside the loom. We're gonna add black banner with light gray dye border, put it back inside, and add light gray dye going across the bottom half of it. And we'll just place that in the back of the cab, just like that. Then we're gonna go line up uh, one block after this vent here, go inside, and we'll add in a dark, another brick fence, two blocks tall like this. Skip a block, add another one right here. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate the middle of this both sides and then we're to go in the back here we'll add in a dark oak fence the corner here and we'll wrap it around with another brick fence skip block two block stall another brick fence and then dark oak fence gates by the side and now we want to extend these so it makes a pattern going all the way up to meet up with the front so it should be like this all right, next up, we'll add in a light gray carpet and we'll make an L shape around this vent on the inside of this and the top of these um, polished black stone brick blocks like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this side. So copy everything that we did on this side and build it over there. All right, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. And then we'll add on this side a spruce fence gate on the left, open that up. And then on top, we'll add in a stone bun here, another stone bun here to the side. And then a uh, polished black stone brick block here, light gray concrete. And then two back to back spruce trap doors here. While on the other side, add a spruce trap door here, open that up. And another uh, back to back over here. And then a birch um, fence right there in the middle. Yeah, it actually makes more sense if we use uh, birch trap doors for this one. Because there is like a white element to it, so I'm going to actually switch it up. Like that. And then we'll add in a light gray carpet right above them all like this. Keep them all uniform. Alright. Then we'll go down here and then we'll add in a stone slab. And uh, that's going to be right after this fence 
and make that go all the way across like that. And next we're going to skip block add a dark oak uh, fence right there. Wrap it around with an L shape of nether brick fence. Skip a block, two blocks, still nether brick fence. And then a light gray concrete on the inside wall of this. And then a dark oak fence gates. So let's connect the sides together like that. All right, so now for the KCS logo, what we're going to do is we're going to add in this mangrove stairs. And we're going to make the K. So two of them stacked on top of each other and the two of them stacked on top, making a C. Then a C shape of stone stairs like that. And then we'll add in mangrove slabs top to bottom and then stone stairs facing the other direction. And then um, mangrove stairs in the corners and slabs on the other corner. So it says KCS, very cool. And we're pretty much going to replicate it on the other side here. All right, once we do it, it should look like this. Then we'll go over here, go down, skip block, punch in a hole, add in light gray concrete there, another one dagly up. And then two blocks tall, light gray concrete, and I'm going to extend it back to the cab. I'll we'll add in um, down at the bottom um, mangrove sign, skip block another one, skip block another one, and put another one right there so that there's four. The top here, we're going to add in uh, another brick fence, dark oak fence gate, and then another brick fence, dark oak fence gate, fence, and then another fence, and then go down, down. Two blocks wide, another brick fence, and then dark oak fence gate right there. Then punch in a hole down here, add a smooth quartz slab there, and then we'll move this light gray concrete on the inside of this. Fill them in a little bit at the top, and then we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs facing the back. That, punch in a hole here, add a light gray concrete inside, and polished black stone brick slab the outside. Then we'll add in a black stone bun right there, and then two blocks tall birch button right here. And then we'll go back over here and we're gonna add in this oak fence gate, open that up, put that one there. Another one, open that up, put that one there. Birch button right there. Another birch button underneath this. And then two blocks wide birch button right here at the top. All right, then uh, we'll add in stone button. So that's gonna be one under here. Skip block, another one here. Skip a block birch, skip block birch button. All right, and then the back here, we'll add in two blocks wide, light gray concrete. And then stone stairs is gonna be a two by two. And we want them all upside down facing towards the front like that. And then we'll go down over here where the fuel tank starts and we'll add in two blocks wide, polished black stone brick stairs upside down. We'll change these slabs into stairs. This stair, I mean slabs as well. And then over here, change this into polished blocks of brick slab and change um, this, change this into slab as well. And then change this into stairs facing towards the front. Just like that, it's just on this corner. And then all the way across, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs all the way. Just like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak trapdoor right there. And then the other side, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick um, slab there, another slab here. And the other side here, we'll add in three there, another brick fence there. And then polished blackstone brick stairs, gonna be three blocks wide, upside down. Skip a block, another three like that. Then the middle of this is gonna be a dark oak fence gate like that. All right, next up, we'll add in birch button. We're gonna add in one here, go down the up, and then down the down, three. Over here, it's gonna be stone bun, skip block stone bun, and then two birch buns next to each other. And then there's gonna be this birch sign. Skip block one down there. All right, next we'll go in the back. We'll add in three blocks tall, light gray glass pane. And then over here, it's gonna be polished blocks of brick slab. And then two blocks tall of spruce fence gates, open that up. Another one at the top, open that up. 
Then side here, uh, we'll add in a light gray concrete here, polished black stone brick block. And then a uh, light gray concrete at the bottom. Then we'll add in um, stone stairs, three blocks long. And the top part, three blocks long as well. And then um, spruce trap doors, three of them, open them up like that. Polished black stone brick block here in the middle, light gray concrete at the bottom. And then a stone slab at the top, uh, just like that. All right, now for the other side, uh, we're going to add in light gray concrete here, polished black stone brick block on top, stone stairs next to it. Then underneath, we'll add in polished black stone brick block, stone stairs down here, stone stairs at the top, light gray concrete here, and then a stone slab like that, and then a spruce. Trap door, close that up, and a birch bun here to the side. Also add another birch bun on the other side as well. All right, then we'll add in smooth quartz slab, another one next to this one. Skip block, another one over here, and another one in between the C and the S. On the other side, there's going to be one. Well, one of them it's, uh, has a gap of space between that and the other side, so two of them like that. All right, and then in the front, there's going to be another one lines up the fuel tank here. And another one right next to this one. It also is this birch sign next to that. So I'll add it like that. All right, then we're going to go over here, add a stone button right there to the side. And then apparently I made a mistake here. So this actually delete these two blocks here and move this uh, oak fence gate in like that. Alrighty, so yeah, I believe that's pretty much it on how to build the Kansas City Southern Grey Ghost AC4400 CW in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.